Hello guys, this is our Turtles, and today I'm going to be starting a series, or I've actually started this series already, um, but not officially, but today I'm going to say that officially I'm going to start a series uh, on Photoshop layer styles, uh, and in this series I'm going to be showing you guys how to create different layer styles in Photoshop, and it's basically different uh, different looks that you can interpret on the uh, objects in uh, Photoshop such as text or different kind of shapes so uh, let's get to it uh, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to uh, how to create a chrome outline and if you can't see very well I'm gonna zoom in right here you can see there's an outline around this text and <laughs> that's my parrot he's annoying the crap out of me I'm sorry um, that's not gonna stop me from doing this tutorial though um, <clears throat> so yeah you can see there's an outline and it's it kinda looks like chrome so that's pretty cool so first of all go to file new and I'm gonna use uh, width 9 900 and height 400 background contents uh, let's just put it to transparent and click OK alright uh, first of all let's create a background really fast so let's grab our paint bucket tool and let's fill the background with white and uh, double click on the layer 1 and uh, <clears throat> let's select gradient overlay and let's change it to um, <clears throat> select the black to white and change the white to kind of light gray and the black to also light gray <clears throat> so it looks kinda nice so yeah we're done with the background now let's go on to the text let's create a new layer by clicking this button right here go away parrot <laughs> it's annoying um, yeah once you created the new layer let's uh, select the horizontal type text tool and uh, let's select our f uh, size and our font right here and let's type whatever you like um, chrome outline and that's what I'm gonna type <clears throat> and let's enlarge it hold shift and drag one of the corners to enlarge it okay you're looking good um, now let's double click on this uh, text layer and uh, first of all let's select drop shadow just to make it look nice let's put the size to 10 pixels distance uh, you can put it to whatever you like whatever you prefer uh, now let's select stroke and <coughs> excuse me uh, decrease the size or increase the size of stroke depending on your situation if it's already big or too small uh, let's put it to maybe four pixels and uh, let's change the color of the text so select color overlay and change the color I'll just put it to a nice blue okay and uh, let's select bevel and emboss and click on bevel and emboss and go to style and change that to stroke emboss okay now let's select contour and in contour um, make sure you have these settings make sure you have and anti aliased make sure you click on this little arrow right here and change it to 
this kind of contour where it's this kind of cone it's actually called cone so make sure it's that and the range change it to 50 percent then go back to bevel and emboss and follow these settings so um let let me just see uh let's put the depth to 42 or actually let's increase the depth to uh 286 percent technique smooth depth 286 percent uh size let's see what well, looks good this actually looks pretty good uh 16 pixels you can mess around with that you know with whatever you prefer I like when it's uh, slightly smaller because it looks I don't know just looks cooler to my eye so size 18 pixels soften don't put any soften on it uh, I don't like when there's soften on it maybe you like it I don't know I wouldn't put it on it uh, on there um, angle the top angle is 90 and the bottom angle is 79 make sure not to use global uh, global light because that's not gonna um, it's gonna mess it up and then gloss contour click on the down arrow once again and change it to ring double okay ring double and then uh, highlight mode screen and color white and shadow mode or highlight mode opacity excuse me I'll go back highlight mode opacity 100 percent and uh, shadow mode multiply and color black and opacity um, 45 percent you can change that make it look um, add more black or less black whatever you think looks good I'll just put it to 45 it looks good to me <coughs> excuse me okay uh, we're almost done now let's select inner shadow uh, blend mode multiply color black um, opacity 100 angle 120 my parrot is again annoying the crap out of me sorry about that um, opacity 100 angle 120 I, I have used global light whatever uh, distance 0 choke zero and size 16 pixels you can change that to whatever you like if you like it higher than 16 pixels or, uh, or lower it's up to you now let's go back to drop shadow and let's increase the size a little bit so that we can see it better okay I put it to 21 pixels in this case and we are basically done uh, if I zoom in you can see there's it's kind of flowing with uh, different sh uh, shades of white and gray so it looks like chrome so yeah we are done now uh, thank you guys for watching uh, please leave a like if you like what I'm uh, doing with this series and please subscribe and see you guys later.